Well, friends, uh, I found a new favorite store that's equal to Sharp Shopper in so many ways. I mean, it's different. It's not like an outlet store that has discounted food from other grocery stores. This is like an outlet farm produce store and I am here for it and I am so excited and I am trying to not hyperventilate. Um, I think I've been here four times this week. <laughs> I've had a lot of canyon projects going on and a lot of freeze dryer projects going on and I mean my garden did, we'll just say it did okay and it's still doing some things and we still have to harvest those potatoes. The tomatoes did what they need to do. I think next year I just need to plant like three or four times the amount of tomato plants I planted this year and the green beans have been doing what green beans do. I mean we're getting things but yeah, this is the kind of produce I need in my life, and I am so thankful I have this place now super close to get all of these fruit and vegetable deals. We do have a lot of farms and farm stores and such in our area, but man, my friends have been telling me to go to this one, and I am so glad it has finally happened. <laughs> Okay, so we haven't even made it to Sharp Shopper yet, and I've got some thrift store stuff here. So yeah, this is my next new favorite store. Super excited, can't wait to show you all the haul, but let's go to Sharp Shopper now, yay! Oh boy, it's evening here, and there's stuff going on behind me apparently, but Sharp Shopper time, yay! Let's see what deal Sharp Shopper has for us this evening. The noodle deals, the noodle deals are here. 99 cents. Hmm, mashed sweet potatoes for 99 cents. So this is rare, the whole, my whole favorite case is void of people right now. Okay, so these are 99 cents for a whole case. These are 399. So you know I'm totally here for the Yo Crunch deals. $2.69 a box, yes indeed. All kinds of cheese here. So this provolone's $3.39 a pound, so it's $40 for this 12 pound log. Been a long time since we had Travis make cheese sticks. aisle that we never buy much in but it is always fun to look through. Some more granola bars, birthday cake bars, got chicken, got ground turkey. These look like they're double packs.
for four for a dollar. Little breadsticks. Get us we're back and I just realized this is the first official large family grocery haul here in the mega mama kitchen we are doing things look at us so apparently it's like if you give a mouse a cookie if you give Jim Rell a 16 foot long table I'm gonna just fill the whole thing so let's have a look at what I bought at sharp shopper and John Henry and we are doing this on the table instead of the island because the island is full of Oh, so many projects I've been cooking and filming and canning and freeze drying and all those things that I'm picking right back up tomorrow. But for today, Sharp Shopper is at this end and then we'll go down to those wonderful produce deals. So at Sharp Shopper, and I feel like I should say this for our new viewers too. Do you not know what Sharp Shopper is? Let me tell you. Sharp Shopper is a wonderful discount grocery outlet. Not sponsored, not sponsored, but I love them. They are my favorite. Okay, okay. They have been blessing me for two decades. They have stores in Virginia and Pennsylvania. I have had viewers travel from all over the country and plan their vacation destination stops to stop in at a Sharp Shopper and see the deals for themselves. So, And they all have been super thrilled. It's always fun to see. Anyway, it's marked down discount grocery items from any other grocery store in our area. Now they do have like some bulk items and such as well, but I've talked to some of the Sharp Shopper grocery buyers before and what they do is they buy discount lots from various grocery stores. It might be things like carrots from Safeway or granola bars from Costco and they buy those deals for a deal and they are able to sell them to us for a very discounted price. I love it. I'm here for it. It has blessed my grocery budget. Back when I had a $250 grocery budget for our family of up to seven at that time, Sharp Shopper is where I hit heavy first and it still blesses me to this day. Some of the items, and I always get asked about expiration dates. I'm sorry, I'm like pledging allegiance to Sharp Shopper here. <laughs> not everything is expired. It's not like a 100% expired store. You will find some things that are close to the date. Like I got some yogurt here that's close to the date. It'll still have several weeks on it, no problem. Some things might have a few weeks before their date. Some things might have a few months before their date. Also things like candy from the last season. You saw all those Reese cups at Sharp Shopper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They'll have seasonal items like that. Okay, so let's see what I got. So this bag, this is a big, that's a 25 pound bag of old fashioned oats, $27.69. At least it hasn't gone up since they raised it. I mean, it used to be 16, I almost said $16 a gallon. <laughs> Hopefully don't go there. It used to be $16 for the big bulk bag. Uh, it has slowly risen over these recent years. It's $27.69. That's about what I paid for it last time. I do have another 25 pound bag that I got into recently and then we have this one but we go through oatmeal quickly around here so this is my like buying one ahead but we will use this oatmeal over the next few months no problem. Also brown rice. Now I haven't bought brown rice in a big bulk bag like this in a while. Um, brown rice, you do need to use more quickly. I know with the coating on it, you know, it can go rancid and such. Although ours never has, because again, 
we run through it. So this 25 pound bag was $23.49. So that makes this a little less than a dollar a pound, which is very nice. You know, at dollar 25 tree and other places, uh, it'll be over a dollar a pound now. So I went ahead and got this. This is just up to three months of rice for us. I mean, I use a lot of brown rice. This is coming up to be used soon. This will be used in a couple months. Now this salt, this is the only thing I got out of this whole grocery haul that's just for my long-term food storage. It's a 25 pound bag. It was $11.59. I'm just going to put this in some mylar with an oxygen absorber, put it in my bucket, long-term food storage. So out of this whole 16 foot table haul, one item going into long-term food storage. So even if you're not able to buy several items at one time, for your long-term food storage, you can just pick up an item here and there and grow it slowly that way as well. So back over this way, I have no fish in my freezers. So I got some fish tonight. So I do have some kids and I even like to eat these little, like we got this little imitation crab. It's just some kind of fish, right? Uh, anyway, we like to pretend it's crab. I also got some flounder. It was $3.99 a pound. So I got four packs. This would be like two dinners and then we would have maybe roasted potatoes and some sort of vegetable as side items with it. Then I also got two bags of cod. I believe those are also one pound bags, where are we? We're gonna say, I was thinking that each of these was a one pound bag. All of this fish together spread out would be three to four meals for my family. I like to bake it in the oven, do it in the little packs, lots of ways to do it, but just a little, little fish here and there, right? Uh, then this sausage, this is turkey sausage. So there's 36 in a pack. The serving size is three links per person. So this would roughly be, cause you know, some would have a little more, some would have a little less. So this gives us sausage for four breakfast. Also going along with the fish, look at this, catfish nuggets, okay? I just figured, I mean, obviously it's still just fish, but I thought the kids would get a kick out of its name. It's just like little chunks of catfish already cut up. And they were also, I think these are 12 ounces. They were $2.99, I got four of these. So this would be like a dinner and then leftovers maybe for lunch the following day. Then I got, it's been a while since I've got a big old um, forest log of provolone. So this is provolone cheese. It was $3.39 a pound. This is 12 pounds. Travis will, I mean, we'll shred some of it. We'll make some of it into cheese sticks. It was $40.71. And there's really not, let's see here, there's milk in here, cultures, salt, enzymes. I mean, looks like a pretty decent cheese. Also got four bags of radishes. I like to cook these up, like just throw them in the Instant Pot along with another meat. Also throw them in the Instant Pot with some butter and they cook up like little potatoes. You can also cook them on the stove that way. They can go in the slow cooker. They're great to go along with a beef roast. Anyway, just uh, something that I like to do. I got some Amish butter. This is 2.23 pounds. It was 13.36. Also, I've been doing a lot of lemons. Now, I've gone through a bag of lemons, I'll say, well, just in the last few days, drinking it in my water and every, and drinking it in my water, uh, and then also cooking with it. I have one bag of lemons on hand already, and while we were there, I picked up two more bags, and then we'll go over here to the scandalous, scandalous items. Okay, we have some waffle cut fries. These were I didn't even really look at the price. Now I'm like, oh, I think that was a lot for a bag, but still a deal. These were $1.99 a bag, so this might be like, oh, I don't know, two meals that I would bake these in the oven for the kids. So now we'll have them in the freezer for two meals. Eyes are burning, eyes are burning, the internet's eyes are burning. <laughs> anyway, so they have, tis the homeschool field trip season and all the fun adventures. And of course, you know, there's always a reason. Tis the summer season. Oh, it's the holidays, let's have snacks. Anyway, so I got two cases of these. They were 99 cents a box. There's eight granola bars in a box. This is just the Quaker Chewy Chocolate Chip bars and they're nice to have on hand so I got 24 boxes of those and then the yo crunch deals are amazing 
$2.69 a box. I mean, come on, have some Yo Crunch. Lighten up, live a little, ha ha. So anyway, this whole stack is the Snickers Yo Crunch here. And then this whole stack is the M&M Yo Crunch. So I'm a cool mom. I might say, yeah, kid, when you're done with your lunch, you can have a Yo Crunch. But you know what? These are going to be gone quick. I got three cases of the M&Ms. And so this was my whole Sharp Shopper haul. I feel like an expensive Sharp Shopper haul, but then again, I don't know. Maybe not. Prices are weird, but these prices are good. So it's about $260. Uh, just depends on what I'm getting at the time. So all of these things are like odds and ends, you know? So I got, what did I get out of this? I got one two, three, four, maybe five dinners, okay, with the fish options, five to six dinners. I got half of four breakfast. I got side items for two dinners. Uh, these radishes, I would probably cook these all at one time. So this would be like a side item for one dinner and then would give me some leftovers to eat with my lunch maybe the next day, maybe even the following evening dinner, but I'd probably be the only one that ate it for dinner that second night. Okay. Um, the lemons, I'm rolling through the lemons. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is a week and a half to two weeks of lemons for me. The butter, it just depends on what's going on. And we have other butter. I just really, the reason I wanted to try this is you know I have that big butter dish. <laughs> so anyway, but it's almost butter anyway. Um, then whenever, these will just go in the freezer and a person who lives here will grab them at some point and say, hey, I wanted to frost these and we'll eat them the following day. And this oatmeal, whenever I get into opening this, will probably just this bag would be honestly four to six weeks of oatmeal when I think about it. Because back in the farmhouse, I would buy one of these bags of oats a month and we would roll through the whole bag that month and I had less kids then too and younger kids. Now I've got teens and adults and all kinds of things going on. Uh, and then we would go through the brown rice about every, probably every six to eight weeks. So anyway, this is breakfast, breakfast coming up. When we're on an oatmeal kick, we might have it like three times in one week. Um, and then also with bacon and other things. So just trying to, again, trying to like, just show you examples on how I'll use this. This rice, I can easily do, so when I do rice, if I'm just cooking it as like a side item with some chicken broth or beef broth, it's just gonna go along with, you know, whatever our main dish is. Uh, I'll do two pounds at a time, and I might do that two to three times a week, depending on what my meals are. Um, also, when I get to do like a lot of freezer cooking or fried rice or other dishes that have rice, I mean, I may run through it even quicker. Um, again, the salt, just for long-term food storage, is just going in some Mylar, an oxygen absorber, and a bucket. But anyway, there's an example of like how I bought this $260 worth of food. Oh yeah, and those are already gone, they're snacks already gone snacks. And when I say snacks, that does not mean that is the only snack available. I mean, I've got two bushels of apples in this room as well. So there are many other snacks. Hey, geez, yeah. So my whole point is that this is a lot of food. It was $260 worth of food. But then again, it's really not a lot. It's not really a lot. Okay, okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, we have my wonderful, I feel like my daily deals at John Henry because I've been there a lot lately and that's just a local, local store. So if you're in the Shenandoah Valley, it'll benefit you. If you're not, Google, if you're looking for a store similar in your area, just, you know, Google for produce stores in your area. Search for farm stores in your area. Ask your friends on Facebook, you know, where they like to find their grocery deals. I know like even in Virginia, like if you search for salvage grocery stores in Virginia or discount grocery stores in Virginia, you'll find additional ones besides Sharp Shopper. So do that, like if you're in North Carolina or wherever you are, search for in your area. Many times local farmers and produce stands and farmers markets uh, will have similar deals. And actually, I recently, way over there, you'll see my bananas, I've been sharing on Instagram, shouting from the rooftops that from the same store, not in this hall though, I found 
40 pound boxes of bananas for $15. I hyperventilated. I bought 80 pounds. I saved about, you know, 10 pounds. Well, those are already gone also. I froze the 70 pounds. Really, that's not a lot. With kids making smoothies, with mama making smoothies, with banana bread, uh, you know, there's recipes you can put them in pancakes. I've got some other recipes that deal with bread. Sorry, I got some other recipes that deal with bananas. We will go through those 70 pounds of bananas in two to three months. I mean, again, they're already gone. But when I shared that deal I was so excited about, I've heard from many other viewers that like they are finding bananas for 19 cents a pound in their area, which is wild because the banana price has been creeping up like 59 cents, 64 cents a pound. So when I found bananas for 37 cents a pound, hearts came out of my eyes. Let me show you what I got at this store today. But like I was joking, it's kind of like my daily deal. Because, uh-huh, I've been going and I've been getting my deals and I've been canning. Let me show you. Run over here. So the last time I went there, look, 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 my canned corn. Uh, so last time I went there, I got 72 ears of corn, it was like six dozen. And there was about seven ears that we didn't end up using. They were a little too wormy, okay? But it's this holistic corn, it's not sprayed with anything. You're gonna get critters that you're dealing with in your vegetables then, and that's okay, you know, give and take, right? They could be sprayed with a lot of stuff, and then you're dealing with that. I tried out their corn, it was so fantastic, it went well, it was super like buttery tasting, even with nothing on it. So today when I went, I got 10 dozen ears of corn. Now, they did say, and I showed you on their sign, that some of the corn is wormy. That's also what we found. Like I said, seven ears, it's okay. It's natural. I mean, you know, critters are all around us. Because of that though, when you buy a dozen ears of corn, they actually were giving you 14. So like two replacement ears. So I got 140 ears of corn. Now we will see. I mean, I'm gonna need to process these, this very, very quickly. Like this is, you know, adding add to my pile for tomorrow probably. We'll see how many ears I end up. I lost seven the last time, but really no loss because it was like a dessert for chickens with extra friends already. The, the worms are included, ha ha. So there we go, I got the corn. So it was $2.99 for 14 ears and I bought 10 dozen. So with the corn special, it was $29.90. And then the tomatoes. So they already made me hyperventilate over the tomatoes. Earlier this week I went, they had the 20 pound boxes. I, want to say, I honestly can't remember now if they were $10 a box or $15 a box. Whatever, I got the last four boxes that they had earlier this week and I froze all of those. And I lost, um, hmm, out of the 80 pounds of tomatoes, what did I lose? I don't know, maybe 10 pounds? I mean, not. I did not lose too much. And what I lost really went to the chicken, so it's all okay, no one's complaining here. And there's already like two bad tomatoes I saw in one of these boxes. But again, no big deal. So I'm gonna go through these, I'll wash them, gonna make myself a chicken bowl so my chicken sisters will love me, yes they will. But the rest of these I'm gonna add to my frozen tomatoes and we'll be canning those in the near future. So yeah, the other day I had to think back through my week. I think that the tomatoes were marked down to $10 for a 20 pound case. Then like two days later they posted tomatoes and it was mm, 20, $25 for a 20 pound case and I was like, no. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. And so today they had these 20 pound cases back down to $12. So I bought five of them. So that's another 100 pounds of tomatoes. Hopefully, you know, I, out of that I'll get close to 90 pounds or so to actually freeze. It takes a whole lot of tomatoes to really do anything canning wise. So this still isn't an, even 180 pounds of tomatoes. I don't know, maybe we're getting somewhere. But uh, anyway, that's why I keep grabbing these tomato deals. And then run, run, run. And then I got another bushel of apples. Now they had advertised the, the apples were $25 a bushel. On my receipt, it says 30. So next time I go in there, I'll ask them, hey, why, why didn't I get these for 20, 
five dollars a bushel but anyway i already have another bushel and i have got a bunch of apple projects that i'm doing also and not part of this haul but uh, as an example also we got this flat of pineapple for fifteen dollars so we got this big box of mangoes i know these are spotted and they're going so like i need to do things with these mangoes tomorrow i was going to slice them down and freeze dry them Anyway, we got a big, like a case this big of mangoes. And yes, I mean, three quarters of them or more were, were gone. They were rotten. Um, I don't know what I'm grabbing at this, at this point. But it was $8 for the box full. So I figured that's okay. I have animals. They'll eat mangoes. And we did get some out of it. And again, I should get, mm, I don't know, maybe two or so freeze-dried trays. And I could not buy dried mango, several good trays of it like that for eight dollars so you know i couldn't buy it from the store that's what i'm trying to say i'm gonna freeze dry it at home yay and then i just want to you know show you all the deals let's see if i can get this off here so they also this again this is not what i got today this is what i got earlier this week there we go okay so they had these 40 pound boxes of sweet potatoes for $25 and these are like like these are no joke sweet potatoes okay these are awesome <laughs> these are like you know real big wonderful sweet potatoes so I got two boxes of those and these um, like I said they were $25 for whoop 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 stay on there for now um, again projects projects and I got this 25 pound bag of potatoes also but again like when you get canyon and stuff you just run through these so quick so friends good time stocking up got some extra things to go in the freezers like i say for some upcoming meals and little side items and such one thing for long-term food storage lots more canon and freeze drying projects coming up thank you so much for watching i'll see you real soon with another brand new video bye bye mm -hmm.